Michael Fiorini took home the prize last year for Mr. Fieldcrest. Who will be crowned this year for Mr. or Miss Fieldcrest? We're here with Colton, a candidate and favorite to win Mr. Fieldcrest. What do you think your advantage is to winning Mr. or Miss Fieldcrest? Um, well, I'm bringing a lot of talent. I mean, everyone else is, but I think I bring the most. Um, plus, uh, my handsomely good looks and uh, my really cut body, it's really defined. I got six pack. I would show you, but, you know, right. And uh, I'm also 210 pounds, <laughs> twisted steel, sex appeal. What does Mr. Fieldcrest mean to you? It's a lot of bragging rights and respect from the other students at the school. Plus, uh, your name on a plaque, you know, it's really nice. And uh, you've heard of the early Austin Stearns, right? Well, of course I have. Oh, uh, yeah, everyone has. He's widely known in this area for winning with his guitar. But honestly, I think I might be able to beat that. That was a very bold statement. Now, can you give us some insight on what you're going to do for Mr. Fieldcrest? Well, I can't give you too much insight. That uh, I give the fans a little too much information about mm -hmm. what I'm doing. But I do have one final thing to say. And that's, this may be the seventh annual Mr. and Miss Fieldcrest, but I got eight terms. Wait, wait. I got eight years in office. That's one more than you. <laughs> Mr. Austin Stearns, think you can walk up the stage, play a little guitar? Tell you what, there's a new sheriff in town, and he's bringing the guns. We're here with Madison, a favorite on the female side to win Miss Fieldcrest. What does Mr. and Miss Fieldcrest mean to you? Um, I have to say that it means pride, leadership, um, dedication, and as a winner, you get looked up to here at Fieldcrest. So, yeah. It's a very nice thing to say. What is some of your advantages to winning Mr. and Miss Fieldcrest? Um, an advantage would be that Colton Pettit is one of my biggest competitors and we all know that he doesn't have a lot to bring to the table. So, I'm gonna take care of business you're going down, Colton. Okay. Can you give us some insight on what you're going to do for your talent? Um, don't want to give too much away to the crowd. I want it to be a big surprise, but um, teacher look alike. <laughs> um, I'm going to be impersonating Sherry, the secretary here at the high school. So I have some advantages there, and yeah. All right, well thank you and best of luck to you. Thank you, Ryan. We're here with Josh, another contestant for Mr. Fieldcrest. Josh, what does Mr. Fieldcrest, what does winning Mr. Fieldcrest mean to you? Well, I mean, being an underclassman, showing that I can prove myself. That's it? That's it. All right. Who do you think your biggest contestant is for Mr. Fieldcrest? Austin Stearns. He doesn't go here anymore. Oh. So who is other than Austin Stearns? I don't know. No one? No one. Alright. What are some of your advantages to winning Mr. Fieldcrest? Myself. Yourself. That's it? That's it. Can you give us any insight on what you're going to do for Mr. Fieldcrest, like your teacher look alike? Well, I'm going to be a hobbit. A hobbit? Yep, yeah, you'll have to see. Alright, well thank you for your time, and best of luck to you. It's a pleasure. We're still anxious to find out who's going to win Mr. or Ms. Fieldcrest. Come this Thursday, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, can I see this? Yes. Next shot. <laughs> Is Roland what he said? Come Thursday, you'll see who the winner is. I'm out of here. And for the nightly news, I'm Ryan. George Bash.